Hi everyone, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com here doing 2021 Bowman Baseball 12 box hobby case break. Pick your team number three. Where all cards ship, even paper. There you go, just released yesterday. Here is our full list of customers and respective teams from Adam Swift and the Diamondbacks down to Mark Bissett and the Nationals, Daniel Ousley with the Rangers, last spot mojo. Good luck to everybody. Yeah. Luckily, it's not like all coaches, you know what I mean? It's like Hall of Fame, like classic coach names. No, no. Uh, but somebody got in contact with me. I was like, yeah, I'd be interested. And I have a line on the red also. There you go. There are our boxes. So the first part of this video is going to be me opening up these boxes. Not all that exciting, but you can fast forward a little bit. That's better. Um, you can fast forward. Uh, if you are watching this on replay, you can forward. Uh, there's a there will be a hyperlink for you to be able to click forward to a recap portion of the video. Uh, where it'll show pretty much the autos and any lower numbered out of a, uh, less than 100, 100 or less on the hits. Uh, if you want to see everything, obviously, you're in for the long haul. That is true. Yes. Uh, the packs on these don't rip as clean as they did last on the Bowman Draft, which is kind of a bummer. Especially when you're ripping a lot of packs. But. Oh, you can leave it, yeah. You okay. Yeah, okay. thanks, dude. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's a rough. I mean, the, the obviously the jumbo is nicer. It doesn't. It's not as not good as the Bowman draft that we did earlier this year, but it's less packs. You know what I mean? This is double the packs, and it just doesn't rip. Like it just sticks too much.
<laughs> Talking about Boondocks. I'm rewatching the draft. I'm wondering who the Raiders are going to draft this time. You know what's funny? The draft was like a was like a mock draft where like everything was going normal. And then you have like one guy who's like mock drafting. Everybody's taking it seriously and then the Raiders pick. And it's just like <laughs> Right? <laughs> and, and you're just like, damn it man, what are you doing? Like we're all taking this seriously. We're all trying to see what's gonna happen. There's always one one team that picks like too too early. Well, like, but that was, that was, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> it's like a fantasy football draft where all of a sudden somebody takes, like, like a quarterback gets taken in the third round. You're like, what? What just happened? Whoa, Joe, you can't wish that on a, that kid. <laughs> Joe just like, can't wait until your pick shreds his ACL in rookie camp. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hate me. <laughs> I wish nothing but the best to your uh, to your your offensive lineman. <laughs> yeah, trust me, it sucks. Man. I was angry last year. Hey. That turned out okay for us. Your Texans didn't have any, right? You didn't have any, uh, you guys didn't have a first round pick. Did, uh, your, was your first round pick the Dolphins? I think it was, right? From, um, for getting, uh, what's his name? Okay, that's what I thought. I was I don't know if I was more surprised about that pick or a running back like running backs going in the first round. But I, I mean it makes sense. But it's just crazy. But nobody's saying anything about the the Steelers taking Harris. Or the Bengals taking ETN. You know what I mean? Yeah. Colton was... That's the weird part is I remember that pick too, Joe. Colton Miller was never really that good either, was he? Jags took ETN. Sorry, not Bengals. But both of those seem, seemed early. They are they getting hammered? Okay. Yeah, I mean, not not a single projection had running backs in the first round, and we had two. I was like, what? not going to be cheap that's for sure two offensive players position players in the first round oh 
they might have they might have two fillers for the Jags. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Jason, how much do you think Jags will be in pick your team breaks next year? For any, like any football with uh, uh, with Lawrence and ETN? Well, okay, like the Chargers were like, what were they like in, in prison or something? Like, I mean, what, what were they in NT? Like 2,400? In Chargers? No, they were like 4,000. Were they 4,000? Okay, yeah, I don't know. So probably probably like 6. That's nuts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the early on product will like, like, will probably just sell for like three. But I mean, even just like even with Joe, even Burrow with not having a year because of injury, yeah. Bengals were still expensive. Yeah, yeah. And then imagine them having like a, a good running back too. You know what I mean? Like. Well, because like with Burrow, even though he got injured, we know how good he was. So like, oh, he's too good. Yeah. That's crazy. I am, Joe. Rex, I am. Um, I th I still think I mean the Patriots price is probably gonna be pretty high too. Oh, there's no way they could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not this year though. Cause especially because he's still an active player, you know. Yeah. Be yeah, Brady's like, no, don't put me with him. What are you doing? Chargers might be cheap. Second year Herbert autos. Yes, please. Yeah. It's weird. It's like, I don't like I don't like the Patriots drafting a quarterback, nor do I like Mac Jones, like as a quarterback per se. But I, for some reason, think both of them together is crazy. Yeah, tons of value in second year Herbert. So, and I mean, it's not like we're gonna do anything crazy with the draft in uh, I think offensive players this year. It's mostly going to be like offensive linemen, so it's not like there's going to be a lot of a lot of uh, interest for the Chargers in regards to our offensive line and stuff. Jalen Mond is a uh, Mojo. Is that the dude from Texas A&M? That's the quarterback, right? Or Kellen Kellen Mond? That's the Texas A&M quarterback, right? I think Lawrence has the highest floor. I think Lawrence Lawrence has the highest floor and highest ceiling. I think he was as close to a uh, to a like you know sure thing as possible when it comes to quarterback. But I'd say Mac probably has like the second lowest or highest ceiling, or not uh, highest has the second highest floor. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree with that. 
He sat behind Tua. He sat behind Hurts. He's had experience. He's been in that office, like in that that quarterback room. He, I mean, he's been under a massive uh, head coach. Obviously, he it seems like he's. You know what's weird though is like I didn't hear anybody talk about the fact that he got a DUI his what was it freshman or sophomore year where he crashed his car, which I thought was crazy. Like, how do you not talk about that? You know what I mean? Where they talk about Johnny Menzel and like discipline issues and these players and discipline issues and stuff like that, but you don't never really heard any talk about uh, Mac Jones and DUI. Yeah. I think first week, there's no way they let Jimmy Garoppolo run that offense next year. They're going to trade Jimmy, right? I think Trey Lance is first week starter. I think he, I think Trey Lance outbattles him in, in uh, preseason, in training camp. I don't think he has confidence in himself anymore. I, I, I'm saying week one. I mean, they picked a guy with third overall. It's not like they. It's not like they're like, oh, you know. You know, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting too, Joe. Well, we'll have to see once the schedule comes out what it looks like. Cause let's say the let's say that the 49ers, their very first game of the year is against like an interdivisional, like uh, like the Rams or somebody like that. Um, maybe they don't put Trey Lance <laughs> have have his first his first game against Aaron Donald. That would not be fun. Um, but. But I think it depends on when the schedule comes out, which is May 21st, um, what it looks like. And remember, with the extra game this year as well, um, it also gives team the option of if you drop a game, you have one more to make it up, to make up that, uh, that, that gap, you know? But yeah, that'd be terrifying. Your first professional game is just looking on the edge and see Aaron Donald just staring at you. Oh. Yeah, 17 games this year. Chargers got an extra home game, so nine home games for me on my season ticket. So no more 500 years. No more 500 seasons. Yeah. 
So Chargers got nine home games, eight eight uh eight road games, and next year it'll be eight home, nine road. But they already have they already have the opponents and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Wait, so next year they're also adding an extra game. So, so yeah, seven, seventeen year, games next at year. Least, at least next, so next year. So it's one less. Uh, I think it's only two preseason games. Yeah, yeah, that's and what I'm then, saying. Like they already agreed for up until next year. Yeah. And after that, they decide again. Uh no 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 like that's for sure like from this is on? this is for sure seventeen games from now on so oh. the reason why was um remember the uh, collective bargaining agreement they agreed yeah. to that like it was taking forever yeah, yeah um they told the players union either you agree to a seventeenth year a seventeenth game a year uh-huh. or we're just gonna drop the uh, the um the cap yeah. to lower so it's gonna so cost they're, everybody yeah, money. It, they make more money yeah so they're like we're, so we'll either we'll keep the cap higher. Uh-huh. Or we're gonna cut it because of lost revenues this year, yeah. and everybody's gonna struggle, and you guys still get 16 games. Yeah. So they're like, "Well, shit, just throw in the 17th game." I really do that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But no, it's awesome because I mean, it's two less preseason games for me, which. I mean, I kind of like the just one buy and three wild cards. Yeah. I I prefer that honestly. I think that's cool. An extra team gets to make the playoffs. Each NFL's worst first round for the last decade. First round pick for the Chargers worst over the last decade. Just the last decade, so back to 2010. That's hard because the Chargers have actually drafted really well in the first round. Um. Forrest Lamp was a second round pick, I think. Yeah, because Mike Williams was a first round pick. Forrest Lamp was a second round pick in 2017. All right, Sean, we're gonna. All right, later, guys. Good night, Sean. See ya. Have, also, uh, if you want, drink some of the things I'm gonna Okay. Because I mean, we're not gonna be here. So. Yeah, 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 for sure. Cool. Have a fun trip, guys. Yeah, Ryan Leaf was out of the decade. Ryan Leaf was 2000 and... He, Ryan Leaf was before Breeze. So, he was 2000? Might have been 99. Um, I don't know. Who was it, Adam? See, the, the Chargers have actually drafted pretty well over the last... I mean, especially with Tom Telesco. So, I mean, their their worst draft pick in the first round might not be as bad as I, I, I'm expecting. DJ Fluker. See? That's the thing. That, I mean, that that might be our worst first round pick, but that's not a bad pick at all. DJ Fluker's legit. That's what I'm saying. Our, I mean, the Chargers have actually drafted pretty decent over the last decade. So I was trying to think. I was like, Mike Williams, Joey Bosa. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I agree. Fluker actually just signed a contract somewhere, I think. I want to say he's in, like, Carolina now or... Or um, somewhere down that way. Injury issues. Maybe a little bit soft, but that guy's not bad. So he's Miami, okay. Whoa, Joe, you're going to make me blush. Almost saying something nice about the Chargers? What?
What was DJ Fluker? Was he 2013? I'm trying to remember what product his rookies I've pulled from. It's been this story for the last four years, it seems like. All one possession games. Yeah. It's definitely coaching. I mean, <coughs> I think Chargers actually draft a uh, draft a kicker this year. We might draft a kicker and a punter. I'm not gonna lie. That's the that's the bet right now. Hundred percent, I take over. I mean, I think Joe. I think that line. I think that line's also reflective on uh, on the bets earlier. Uh, the Broncos line for wins and chances at winning the AFC West and the AFC and everything Super Bowl line. Also improved a lot because apparently they were pretty heavily entrenched in the Aaron Rodgers thing. So maybe that win total is reflecting Aaron Rodgers going to the Packers. That'd be interesting. I wonder what it was before him. Uh, I think they're selling for a pretty good amount, Ryan. Check uh, check 130 points, see what they're selling for. What I would do is, uh, since you see what the Raws are selling for, Ryan, check and see what a PSA 9 sells for. What? Joe, you gotta, you should see how much the Silvers are selling for on draft picks. Uh, check and see what a 9 selling for, Ryan. And if it's enough to pay the difference on the grading, check it out. But if not, um, I mean, check what a 10 is. But yeah, the draft pick silvers were selling for a lot. Graded tens and stuff. I agree. That's not for me either. But people are buying them. And it's Lamelo. 
Yeah, I mean, the, that's the thing, Joe, is it is. Because it's the same thing as, like, Zion and Ja from last year. Their, their, uh, their draft is still pretty good. What's a nine selling for right now? Okay, but when we had him, Omar, he was not good at all. He was pretty terrible. He let like he wasn't in the league for a year or two. Um, then he went and came back, and like he went worked out, obviously you know trained and did whatever he needed to do and got better. So he was not good when he was with the Chargers, that's for sure. And like he came in in the middle of the year, yeah, he was bad, very bad. But yes, now he is one of the best. Yeah. That year we had probably like five or six different kickers kick for us at certain times. But that's, Omar, kicker is one of those positions that you don't give time. You just don't give time. The only time a kicker gets time is if he's already been a great kicker and you're like, okay, something's off. We can get him back to normal. Yeah. Yeah. One seventy two fifty for a PSA nine? That's triple the money. I think it's worth it. For 215. So, $150 difference. I think it's worth it. Cuz if you get a that and if you get a 10, there you go. The other thing is, too, Ryan, if you go slow boat to PSA and get, let's say, you you know, whatever their regular value is on the on the uh, grading, um, by the time you get that back, how many more products will have been released with LaMelo Ball rookies in them? And what will that do to the draft pick rookies? Even though it is Prism, so the Prism still gets the benefit of being, you know, the most sought after product. No, he wasn't Omar, but that's the thing. You're you're talking about a, a a rookie kicker compared to what some people would say is one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. You know what I mean? No, I didn't think Tyrod would be the answer at all. But I thought our defense would be good enough to win enough games. And Tyrod is a game manager and doesn't doesn't do enough stupid things to lose games. I didn't think Herbert was the guy. Oh yeah, 100%. The fact that we had one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time in Phillip Rivers... One of the greatest running backs of all time in Ladanian Tomlinson, and arguably the greatest tight end of all time in Antonio uh, Gates, and did not win a Super Bowl, is an absolute joke. Especially because one of the years that all three of those guys were on the team, we had the, the top three rated offense and a top three rated defense. But that same year, we also had the worst rated special teams of all time. Of all time. 
guess what? Uh, that that team has now been surpassed in worst rated uh, special teams in all time. Guess what team beat it? 2020 Chargers. Yeah. Two worst season special teams all time. 2010 Chargers. 2020 Chargers. So. Just when you think it can't get worse. Yeah, he was young, Omar, but that's what I'm saying. Kickers aren't one of the positions that you can... You can you can waste time on at all. Like, I get that they're important in the game, but you don't take time to groom a kicker. Would I have kept Breeze or Rivers? I mean, knowing what we know, do, do I get the, the knowledge of knowing what I know now about Breeze? Obviously, I'd keep Breeze. I wouldn't have drafted, you wouldn't have drafted Rivers. You know what I mean? But, there was no... Nobody thought Breeze would be able to play well again, let alone potentially play for a long term at all. So. I mean, Omar, what you need to understand is Nick Saban was the coach of the Miami Dolphins when the year that uh, Drew Brees left the Chargers, right? This is true. We didn't draft Rivers. Um... So they uh, he so Nick Saban was the coach of the Dolphins. The Dolphins were go were all in on Drew Brees. It was between Drew Brees and Dante Culpepper for their future quarterback. They brought Drew Brees in and gave him a thorough physical. <clears throat> had multiple doctors check his shoulder, everything, everything. And guess what? They were like, there's no way this guy's going to be able to do it. Ever. So they went Dante Culpepper. So everybody looks at it as like the Chargers blew it. The Dolphins did their entire thing. Cool. Good luck, guys. Here are our 12 boxes. Breeze. Screw Eli. Little baby. Brett Batty for the Mets. Austin Martin for the Blue Jays. Matthew Shearer. Seth Beer to 150 for the Diamondbacks. Adam Swift. Emerson Hancock for the Mariners. Emerson Hancock for the Mariners. Joey Bart for the Giants. Uh, talent Pipeline for the Yankees. And Casey Martin Sparkle for the Phillies. That is to 299. Bob Montgomery. Garrett Mitchell for the Brewers. First auto is Brady Encarnacion. Bowman first auto for the Marlins. And Mark Bissett. Trevor Larnack for the Twins. Zach Veen for the Rockies, Aaron Sabato for the Twins, Damian Stock, Austin Martin for the Blue Jays, Matthew Shearer, yeah. so okay. Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays, right Talent Pipeline for the Tigers, the Bobby Wood Jr. for the Royals, Cody Bellinger for the Dodgers. 
Austin Hendrick for the Reds. Xavier Edwards for the Rays. Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays. Forrest Whitley to 25 for the Astros. Eric Ainge. <coughs> Sixto Sanchez for the Marlins. Asa Lacey for the Royals. Dylan Dingler Atomic for the Tigers. Darren McKenzie. Andrew Vaughn for the White Sox. Isaiah Green to 125 for the Mets. Armando Montero. Wander Franco for the Rays. When are we going to see him? And Aaron Sabato for the Twins at the end there. Damian Stock. Luis Garcia to 250 for the Phillies, Bob Montgomery. Joey Bart for the Giants. Blaze Jordan for the Red Sox, Matthew Shira. Brady Singer for the Royals. Andres Jimenez for the Mets. And Marco Luciano to 50 for the Giants. Chris Walker. Uh, yeah, Adam. I mean, I'm, I'll be here until there's nothing for me to do. Unless... Uh, or it's, it, I'll be here as long as there's a break for me to do. Or... There's nothing else that's going to sell out. Aaron Sabato for the Twins. Damian Stock. But yeah, this is going to be until probably 12.30, 12.45 at the earliest. Luis Garcia for the Nationals. Mick Abel for the Phillies. Geraldo Perdomo for the Diamondbacks. Mick Abel, Atomic for the Phillies. Bob Montgomery. Casey Mize for the Tigers. Asa Lacey for the Royals. Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays. Max Meyer for the Marlins. Ryan Mountcastle for the Orioles. Uh, Talent Pipeline, Mets. Adley Rushman for the Orioles. Briner Bonacci, gold auto, 42 out of 50 for the Red Sox. Matthew Shira. Every time I see his last name, I think of Fibonacci. Jazz Chisholm for the Marlins. Heston Kerstad for the, or uh, for the Orioles. Almost said Oilers. What am I doing, a hockey break? Acuna for the Braves. Talent Pipeline for the Rays and Christopher Morell to 250 for the Cubs. Charles Wolfkill. 
Sam Huff for the Rangers. Yeah, however it says on Young Guns, do it that way. Whatever it says on the Young Guns card, do it that way. Daniel Lynch for the Royals. That's going to be the way people search it the most. Mick Abel for the Phillies. Casey Mize for the Tigers. Uh, talent Pipeline for the Twins. Dalton Varsho for the Diamondbacks. I would do it without any punctuations. Just a heads up. Just do the letters. Dylan Carlson for the Cardinals. Because most people will search without putting that stuff on there. CJ Abrams for the Padres. Ryan Mountcastle for the Orioles. Maximo Acosta for the Rangers. Daniel Ausley with the last spot mojo. Wander Franco for the Rays. Heston Kerstad for the Orioles. Kiebert Reese for the Dodgers. Spencer Howard to 299 for the Phillies. Bob Montgomery. And Tyler Freeman to 125 for the Indians. Daniel Ousley. Aaron Sabato for the Twins. Damian Stock. Juan Soto for the Nationals. J.J. Blade for the Marlins. And Blaze Jordan for the Red Sox. Matthew Shira. Yeah, no, nobody's typing in the umlauts or the whatever it may be. Reed Detmers for the Angels. And even the people that are searching that, they're also, those are the people that are like legit searching. And they'll also search without. Marco Luciano for the Giants. Alec Thomas for the Diamondbacks. Clayton Beater, Aaron Sabato, Chrome for the Tigers. Or sorry, for the Twins, Damian Stock. And Kevin Alcantara for the Yankees, Matthew Shira. Christian Javier, Austin Martin. Uh, Christian Javier is for the Astros, and Austin Martin for the Blue Jays, Matthew Shira. Austin Cox, refer, uh, sorry, Sparkle, Auto for the Royals. That is Patrick Colon. Ronnie Mauricio for the Mets. Corbin Carroll for the Diamondbacks and Grayson Rodriguez to 499 for the Orioles. Mark Neubauer. Uh, he seems like it. Yeah, Mojo, I, I was going to say Mojo would know, but that guy seems really good. I got to go back and dig all his stuff out of my boxes. Nick Gonzalez for the uh, Pirates. 
Christian Robinson for the Diamondbacks. Francisco Alvarez for the Mets. Jake Cronenworth for the Padres. Talent Pipeline for the Giants. Evan White for the Mariners. Maximo Acosta for the Rangers. Daniel Owsley. Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays. Nick Gonzalez for the Pirates. And Blaze Jordan for the Red Sox. Matthew Shira. Braylon Marquez for the Cubs. Tyler Freeman to 199 for the Indians. Daniel Owsley. Nick Madrigal for the White Sox. And our auto is Daniel Montano. Bowman first auto to 150 for the Rockies. <clears throat> and Mark Wissette. Aaron Sabato for the Twins, Damian Stock, and Austin Wells to 299 for the Yankees, Matthew Shira. Tristan Casas for the Red Sox. Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals. Wander Franco for the Rays. Talent Pipeline for the Dodgers. Bruce Dark Gratterall for the Dodgers. Bobby Wood Jr. to 125 for the Royals. Mojo, Patrick Colon. K. Brian Hayes for the Pirates. Reed Detmers for the Angels. Maximo Acosta for the Rangers. Daniel Owsley. Shane Boz for the Rays. Nick Matan, Bowman First Atomic for the Phillies. Bob Montgomery. Juan Soto for the Nationals. And there you go. Third of the way through the break. Francisco Alvarez for the Mets. Heston Kerstad for the Orioles. Blaze Jordan for the Red Sox. Matthew Shira. Ryan Mountcastle for the Orioles. Talent Pipeline for the Phillies. Maximo Acosta for the Rangers. Daniel Ausley. Keeper Ruiz for the Dodgers. Maximo Acosta again for the Rangers. And Daniel Ausley for the last spot mojo. Blaze Jordan. Red Sox. Matthew Shira. Aaron Sabato. Pink to 299. Nice one for the Twins. Damian Stock. <clears throat> Juan Soto for the Nationals. Max Meyer for the Marlins. Blaze Jordan for the Red Sox. Reed Detmers for the Angels. Really, really 
Andres Jimenez for the Mets. Austin Hendrick, purple auto to 250 for the Reds. John Alfs, there you go. Kevin Alcantara for the Yankees, Matthew Shira. Dalton Varsho for the Diamondbacks. Mick Avell for the Phillies and Ivan Johnson the 499 for the Reds. John Alts. Dylan Carlson for the Cardinals. Talent Pipeline for the Cubs. Alec Thomas for the Diamondbacks. Heston Kerstad for the Orioles. Ronnie Mauricio for the Mets. Alex Kirloff to 399 for the Twins. Damian Stock. And Marco Luciano Atomic. For the Giants, Chris Walker, Royce Lewis for the Twins, Luis Garcia for the Nationals, Kevin Alcantara, very nice. Bowman first auto for the Yankees, Matthew Shira. Matt did really well with me in the Red Sox last night. Drew Romo to 499 for the Rockies, Mark Bissett. <clears throat> Shailene Lears in the Braves. Riley Green for the Tigers. Heston Kerstad for the Orioles, Aaron Sabato for the Twins, Damian Stock, Aaron Sabato for the Twins again, and Damian. Talent Pipeline Orioles, Austin Martin for the Blue Jays, Matthew Shira. Brandon Marsh for the Angels. Alec Baum for the Phillies. Spencer Torkelson for the Tigers. Andres Jimenez for the Mets. Jordan Westberg for the Orioles. And Ed Howard Atomic for the Cubs. Charles Wolfkill. Maximo Acosta for the Rangers. Daniel Ousley. Mike Trout for the Angels. Riley Green for the Tigers. Nick Madrigal for the White Sox. Garrett Mitchell for the Brewers. Joe Adele for the Angels. Uh, Talent Pipeline for the A's. 
<clears throat> Josh Young for the Rangers. Sixto Sanchez for the Marlins. Kevin Alcantara again for the Yankees. Matthew Shira. Jason Dominguez for the Yankees. O'Neill Cruz for the Pirates. Evan White for the Mariners. Matthew Libertor for the Cardinals. Alec Baum for the Phillies. Spencer Torkelson for the Tigers. Josiah Gray for the Dodgers. Vlad Guerrero to 499. Blue Jays, Matthew Shira, and Xavier Edwards Atomic for the Rays, John McCall. Edward Cabrera for the Marlins. Mackenzie Gore to 499 for the Padres, Mark Bissett. Christian Pache for the Braves. Austin Hendrick for the Reds. Taylor Trammell for the Mar uh, Mariners. Right. Yeah. Aaron Sabato for the Twins. Evan White for the Mariners. Mac Wainwright, Bowman first, purple to 250 for the Reds, John Alves. K. Brian Hayes for the Pirates. Riley Green for the Tigers, and Riley Green to 125 for the Tigers. Darren McKenzie. Austin Martin for the Blue Jays. Aaron Judge for the Yankees. Uh, talent Pipeline for the Mariners. Alec Baum for the Phillies. Andrew Vaughn for the White Sox. Junior Severino to 499 for the Twins. Brennan Davis for the Cubs. Emerson Hancock for the Mariners. Joey Bart for the Giants. Kevin Alcantara for the Yankees. Talent Pipeline for the Yankees. Very 
Charlie Blackman to 250 for the Rockies. And Mark Bissett. Brennan Davis, Atomic for the Cubs. Charles Wolf kill. Juan Soto for the Nationals. J.J. Blade for the Marlins. Kevin Alcantara for the Yankees. Matthew Shearer. Kiebert Reese for the Dodgers. C.J. Abrams for the Padres. Reed Detmers for the Angels. Aaron Sabato for the Twins. Dalton Varsho for the Diamondbacks. K. Brian Hayes for the Pirates. Maximo Costo for the Tigers. Costa. Costo. And Cole Franklin. Bowman first auto for the Cubs. Charles Wolfkill. Heston Kerstad Sparkle to 299 for the Orioles. Mark Neubauer. Alec Thomas for the Diamondbacks. Blaze Jordan for the Red Sox. Austin Martin for the Blue Jays. Cody Host to 499 for the Dodgers. Katie Thones. Ronnie Mauricio for the Mets. And Casey Mize for the Tigers. Robert Hassel for the Padres. Wander Franco for the Rays. Royce Lewis for the Twins. Heston Kerstad for the Orioles. Austin Martin for the Blue Jays. Marco Luciano for the Giants. Uh, Lakers, this is Bowman, yes. Nick Madrigal for the Sox. Talent Pipeline for the Twins. Reed Detmers for the Angels. Dylan Carlson for the Cardinals. Heston Kerstad for the Orioles. Josiah Gray to 50 for the Dodgers. Katie Thones. Corbin Carroll for the Diamondbacks. Emerson Hancock for the Mariners. Blaze Jordan for the Red Sox. Joey Bart for the Giants. Kevin Alcantara for the Yankees. Talent Pipeline for the Cardinals. Hunter Green for the Reds. Maximo Acosta for the Rangers. And George Kirby to 150 for the uh, the Mariners. Patrick Colon. Julio Rodriguez for the Mariners. 
Austin Hendricks for the Reds and Blaze Jordan for the Diamond. Or sorry, for the Red Sox. Jeter Downs for the Red Sox. Nate Pearson for the Blue Jays. Austin Cox for the Royals. Bowman first auto. Patrick Colon. Sean Murphy for the Athletics. Zach Veen for the Rockies. Adley Rushman for the Orioles. Talent Pipeline for the Astros. J.J. Blade for the Marlins. Sixto Sanchez for the Marlins. Asa Lacey for the Royals and Ismail Mania Atomic for the Padres. Uh, Mark Bissett. Austin Martin for the Blue Jays. C.J. Abrams for the Padres. Max Kepler to 499 for the Twins. Damian Stock and Austin Martin Pink Chrome to 199 for the Blue Jays. Matthew Shira. Jared Kelenic for the Mariners. Kevin Alcantara for the Yankees. Spencer Torkelson for the Tigers. Nick Gonzalez for the Pirates and Nick Allen to 125 for the A's. William Clayton. Francisco Alvarez for the Mets. Nick Madrigal for the White Sox. K. Brian Hayes for the Pirates. Reed Detmers for the Angels. Waters, uh, Drew Waters for the Braves. Kettle Marte to 75 for the Diamondbacks. Adam Swift. And Colton Welker Atomic for the Rockies. Mark Bissett. Austin Martin for the Blue Jays. Aaron Judge for the Yankees. Tony Romo getting hurt. He has to become a 
Jason Dominguez for the Yankees. Maximo Acosta for the Rangers. Mikabel for the Phillies. Francisco Alvarez for the Mets. Jake Cronenworth for the Padres. Talent Pipeline for the Braves. Blaze Jordan for the Red Sox. Ryan Mountcastle for the Orioles. Do you actually know him, Rex? Uh, Falcons. He was on the Falcons, wasn't he? That's where he did his most, his best work. Luis Santana, Bowman first auto for the Astros. Eric Ainge. Jared Kelly to 399 for the White Sox. Jason Siebert. Ian Anderson for the Braves. Was he Cincy? I thought he was Falcons. I don't know. I'm, I'm younger than all you guys. I don't know. Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals. Aaron Sabato for the Twins. Bengals, 90% sure. Lou Bob, White Sox, Austin Martin for the Blue Jays. Talent Pipeline for the Pirates. Bengals, Rex says. Damn it. Same. I'm just too young for you guys. Asa Lacey for the Royals. Did he play for the uh, the Falcons? Played for Cincinnati. Oh, okay. Damn it. Blaze Jordan, Red Sox. Fernando Tatis Jr. for the Padres. Jason Dominguez for the Yankees. Alec Baum for the Phillies. Kevin Alcantara for the Yankees. Evan White for the Mariners. Alec Baum for the Phillies. Spencer Torkelson for the Tigers. Joe Adele for the Angels. Jorge Soler to 299 for the Royals. Patrick Colon. And Jason Rosario. Atomic for the Red Sox. Matthew Shira. Mackenzie Gore for the Padres. Michael Toglio for the Rockies. Garrett Crochet for the White Sox. Garrett Mitchell for the Brewers. Maximo Acosta for the Rangers. Joe Adele for the Angels. Talent Pipeline for the Marlins. Max Meyer for the Marlins. 
And William Holmes. Bowman first sparkle auto to 299 for the Angels. My Angels, Daniel Ousley. And Jeter Downs to 99. Nice one there for the Red Sox. Matthew Shura. Dad is Jack. Son is Joe. Right? I think you got it, you got it reversed. Sixto Sanchez for the Marlins. Riley Green for the Tigers. Asa Lacy for the Royals. Talent Pipeline for the Mariners. Brendan McKay for the Rays. <laughs> I thought I had it wrong for a minute. I was like, I'm I was like, I thought it was Joe. Joe Buck was the current announcer. Spencer Torkelson for the Tigers. Blaze Jordan for the Red Sox. Kevin Alcantara for the Yankees. Last box, guys. Luis Camposano for the Padres. Marco Luciano for the Giants. And Gerardo Perdomo to 299 for the Diamondbacks. Adam Swift. Casey Mize for the Tigers. Uh, talent Pipeline for the Brewers. Tarek Skubal for the Tigers. Dylan Carlson for the Cardinals. C.J. Abrams for the Padres. Spencer Howard for the Phillies. Jesus Sanchez to 150 for the Marlins. Mark Bissett. Christian Javier for the Astros. Austin Martin. For the Blue Jays. Oswald Peraza to 499 for the Yankees. Matthew Shira. Dylan Carlson for the Cardinals. Robert Hassel for the Padres. Mario Feliciano to 125 for the Brewers. Jonathan Crawford. Spencer Torkelson for the Tigers. Tanner Houck to 399 for the Red Sox. Matthew Shira. Riley Green Atomic for the Tigers. Darren McKenzie. Joe Adele for the Angels. And Yolbert Sanchez, Bowman first auto for the White Sox and Jason Siebert. Should be our last auto. Oh, for sure. I knew it. Dylan Carlson for the Cardinals. Corbin Carroll for the Diamondbacks. Royce Lewis for the Twins. Uh, talent Pipeline for the Rockies. Christian Pache for the Braves. And that's the break. There you go, guys.
Nice break. Uh, recap time. Okay, so first non-auto recap. Forrest Whitley out of 25 for the Astros. Marco Luciano gold to 50. Aaron Sabato paper, or paper pink to 299. Austin Martin pink chrome to 199. And Josiah Gray paper gold to 50 for the Dodgers. And autos. Brady Encarnacion for the Marlins. Brainer Vanashi to 50 for the Red Sox. Austin Cox to 299 for the Royals. Daniel Montano to 150 for the Rockies. Uh, Austin Hendrick to 250 for the Reds. Kevin Alcantara to 499 for the Yankees. Mac Wainwright to 250 for the Reds. Cole Franklin for the Cubs. Austin Cox for the Royals. Kettle Marte, non auto. Uh, yellow to 75 for the Diamondbacks. Luis Santana for the Astros. William Holmes to 299 for the Angels. Jeter Downs to 99 for the Red Sox. And Yolbert Sanchez, auto for the White Sox to finish it off. And there you go, guys. That was the break. That was 2021 Bowman Baseball 12-box hobby case break. Pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Sean, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.